back on the bank can you join me for a coffee update so i'm up in the cotswolds once again and i'm doing a bit of day ticket fishing so i've come to hawcott lake which if you've watched your channel for a while you would know that i've i fished quite a bit on here in the last few years um lovely bit of water it's about 20 acres M mega mega stock of fish in here not too sure numbers wise i think sort of 800 something like that maybe um but they're really, really good. Um, there's a really good head of 30s in here, and to be fair, it's starting to almost get the reputation for being the home of the 30s for this area. It is an absolute mega, mega bit of water, and uh, most of the fish are absolute stunners. So um, yeah, if you've not been here yet, then um, I'd highly recommend having a go. Now, I actually turned up um, late last night which um, isn't normal really, um, obviously it tends to be sort of a one o'clock start time um, so if you're doing 24 hours it's one till one the following day but I messaged the um, fishery manager Lee and he was happy for me to come up um, that bit later because that was the only time I had to get out so um, yeah I did rock up pretty much just after dark um, had a bit of a walk around, there's a few lads on um, but heard a couple of fish show and decided to try and get in as close to that as I can, which is pretty much what I've done. So I think I'm in swim 12, um, and I basically just pinged out three zig rigs. Um, it's been really, really warm, it was really warm last night, and it's warm again this morning, so it seemed a good shout. And yeah, I've just pinged, pinged three zigs out, um, two on bright ones, one on sort of a, a bit of black foam, um, and just thought I'd see if um, if that sort of gets a bite. So um, it's um, early morning now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them out there for a bit just to see if anything happens. And if I start to see fish showing or moving around, I'm going to sort of start moving the zigs about, dotting them around a bit, maybe changing the colours, changing the depth a little bit, and just see if I can nick a bite on one of those. So I think the fish are probably going to be just cruising about enjoying the weather maybe not so much on the feed so i'm just looking for that opportunist bite really so anyway that's the tactics for the start of the day so we will see how we get on <music> Well, it's about midday now, and I've literally just been sat watching the water all morning. There's a lot of fish in front of me, but they are just cruising around, enjoying the sun, not really showing much interest in feeding. Um, and I think the tactics wise, what I'm doing today, zig fishing, is, is the go-to. I don't really think there's any need in, in changing what I'm doing. And actually, I just thought I'd talk you a little bit about what kind of style of zigging I'm doing, because I do think there's different types of zig fishing. So today, what I would say is I'm essentially lure fishing for carp. What I mean by that is I'm basically fishing bright 12mm pop-ups 
in their face trying to get a reaction which is the same as what you would do if you were lure fishing for some sort of predatory fish you're trying to sort of let them know it's there trying to get them to react to it in that split second and, and trying to get them to nail it so that's kind of what i'm doing with the the hook baits today i'm sort of recasting them regularly and trying to sort of drop them in front of a fish and hope that that fish then just nails that hook bait and obviously i, I get a bite so yeah it's it's kind of lure fishing for carp in a way i guess but i think it's the I think it's the only way I'm going to get a, a fish today. I think um, the, the fish aren't on the bottom, they're all up in the layers. Um, I think maybe you could get them going on the top, but there's so many birds on here. I think it'd be so hard to get them going on mixers. So um, I maybe could fish a, a, a bait on the top and they might nab that, but then you're gonna have to sit and really keep an eye on it because there's such an amount of bird life on here. It just ended up getting nailed by a bird. So I don't want to be doing that. But um, at the moment, I'm quite happy with what I'm doing, just fishing sort of reaction style, trying to get them to pick up a bright up bait up in the layers. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, it pays off. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna go get another drink because I'm absolutely boiling. And um, yeah, let's hope we'll be having one. Right, I don't know if you can see that fish down there in this bit down here, just cruising around. Basically, I've seen a few fish coming through these reeds, so I dropped a couple of broken baits on this little clear spot right in front of the swim, and this fish has come through, absolutely mopped up the bait, and is now just circling around. I um, imagine it can probably sense that there's food signals in the water, and it just keeps going up along the reeds, coming back through, circling around the spot again, but it's almost like it knows there's no bait there, so it's sort of not dropping down again. Right, it looks like he's just gone through the back of these reeds, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly reel in that right hand rod, and I'm actually going to drop a bottom bait right on that spot, and see if I can catch him. I'm just going to put a couple of the dumbbell baits. I'm going to break up a little bit of paste as well. Just spread it around that area a little bit. Right, well, I've packed everything down and moved it into the shade. It's been so, so warm that um, even my phone was given up and wouldn't let me um, use it because it was getting so hot. So I've had to literally just tuck everything right under the trees, out of the, out of the sun, and try and let it all cool off a bit. Um, we're going into sort of afternoon, well, sort of evening time really now. And um, there's been a few fish sort of knocking about still in front of me. Well, there's quite a lot out there. They are showing absolute no interest. I went back and got some mixers, put out a few of the um, DNA mixers and that, you have know, floating pellets, and they were not interested at all. I, um, I'll be honest, I thought I might have been able to get them going and they might be suckers for it, but no, they showed absolutely no interest in the floaters, which I was quite surprised. But there has been a few fish visiting the little margin spot in the edge. So I've actually decided to concentrate on the margins basically. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I've bought in the zigs and I'm just concentrating on the margins and hopefully we're gonna be able to nick one out of the edge. Dropping the rod into the swim next door. It's 
been a few fish cruising along the uh, the margin. Scattered a little bit of bait along here. So got now one rod next door, one rod in here. Both in the margins. Really close in. And normally, on a day ticket, you uh, don't really get the luxury of doing this, but because it's Monday, there ain't too many people around. So as you can see, I've only got one rod in the swim, and I'm just fishing one rod, literally just right in the edge down here, just fishing over a little handful of bait, and I've got a little Ronnie down there at the moment. I did have a bottom bait out there, a fish come into the area, moved around, fed quite a bit, and I didn't get a take, so I thought maybe it's not fishing right, it's not sat on the bottom right. So I've dropped in a little Ronnie, just to see if it um, produces the goods. It's on a match to hatch, so not too blatant, so we'll see what happens. But to put things in my favor, if you come over here into the one next to me, I've also dropped a rod into there, I've got my um, extra net next to it and I've um, dropped a rod into this little channel and I've put a little bit of bait in there again. I've just been little, little, little and often sort of trickling baits on these margin spots through the day and fish slowly are visiting them. Um, not a lot, there's only a few coming in, but when the conditions are really hard, I think this is my best chance of a bite considering I'm going to be off this evening and I'm not going to be fishing another night I think nicking one out the edge is probably my best chance at the moment but um to be honest I haven't done a lot of this fishing this year well I haven't done any of it this year I don't think so it is actually quite nice to be able to fish like this in the edge fish beyond a couple of rods like that and see if I can nick one off of a margin box. it's a nice way of doing it and hopefully I'll be able to watch them take the hook bait because every time I see one come in I get up stand behind that tree this tree here and I just sort of watch the spot and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see when take the up bait but um yeah nice bit of fishing hopefully it pays off I think as this sun drops down we've got a good chance of having one so yeah let's hope it uh let's hope it works <music> Right, while well, the sun's going down, um, I reckon we've got about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes until it's going to be dark. So, um, yeah, sort of the biting hour now. Um, I'm going to be going when it gets dark, so, yeah, we haven't got much longer to um, make it happen. But hopefully it does. Um, it's a bit frustrating this session, if I'm honest. I mean, I've obviously been able to get a few fish feeding in the edge. Um, unfortunately, I've been done twice. It's definitely made me think a little bit about the Ronnie as well, and maybe it's only sort of suited to certain situations, which I kind of knew anyway, and it was a little bit lazy maybe putting the Ronnie out and not just putting a simple bottom bait rig out. But, um, you know, we learn, so we learn from our mistakes. So, um, yeah, I've, at the moment, I've just got a little short braided hook link factor on a slip D. So um, if something does come in, I think there's a chance that I get nailed. But um, yeah, it's been a really frustrating session. Um, fish didn't really get on the floaters. I tried putting a few out earlier on, but they didn't really sort of get on them. Um, the bird life on there is an absolute nightmare as well. So that didn't really help the situation. But um, the fish just haven't really been feeding that heavily. And um, actually there was a guy that came into my swim about a couple of hours ago, and he'd been walking around this afternoon um, doing a bit of floater fishing and he hadn't really been able to get them going at all. He actually dropped in the swim to my right because there's been a few fish showing and um, put a few mixers out with the um, spod but they just haven't gotten them and I think that's the problem. I just don't think the fish are really on the feed um, but I suppose a couple of fish come in fed on that spot so they were having a little bit of a graze about but unfortunately it's not to be so we give it a little bit longer anyway. Hopefully we'll have a fish before we go but um, we haven't got long to do it.
Right, that is the end of the video. I completely forgot to do an outro. Um, when I got back to the van, I ended up speaking to the fishery uh, fishery manager, Lee, um, chatting about a few things, and he actually um, told me that no fish have really been caught. It has been fishing really slow. So I felt a little bit better about the fact that I'd blanked, but it was unfortunate, really. You know, very tricky conditions. Obviously managed to get a couple of, couple of fish sort of having a little look in the margin. Got ejected a couple of times, which was frustrating, but it was really cool to watch. Um, the fish coming in on that margin spot but it is what it is so you know i enjoyed it it was a little bit of a short video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you're new to the channel then please smash that subscribe button give it a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and until next week uh tuesday six o'clock there'll be another video then so anyway get out on the bank be lucky see you next week <laughs>